Hey guys, today we are going to look at writing linear inequalities from graphs. We're going to answer the question, how do I write linear inequalities from graphs? So to write a linear inequality from a graph, we need to determine the slope and the y-intercept from the line, and then we will determine the inequality sign based on the solid or dotted line, and if the shading is above or below. Then we will write the inequality in slope-intercept form and convert to standard form if necessary. So we always have to start with slope-intercept and then convert to other forms, mostly because of the inequality sign. The inequality sign only works in slope-intercept form. So let's practice identifying different inequality signs. So first of all, I see that this is a solid line, so that means I'm going to have the equal sign. And then if you look at the y-intercept, we're shaded above the y-intercept, so that would be greater than. So this inequality sign shown here would be y is greater than or equal to. Okay, then this next one is also a solid line, so it's gonna have the equal sign. And then if you look at the y-intercept, we're shaded below it. So that would be y is less than or equal to mx plus b. Then this next one is a dotted line, so no equal sign, and we are shaded above the line, so that would just be y is greater than. And then the last one, dotted line, so there's no equal sign, and we're shaded below, so that would just be y is less than. All right, let's look at number one. It wants us to write the inequality of the graph in slope-intercept form. So I need to determine the slope and the y-intercept. Let's start with the y-intercept. It is four, and then my slope is positive. I see a point here and another point there. I'm gonna draw my slope triangle. The rise is one, two, three, four, and the run is one, two, three. So the slope is four thirds. So I have the slope and the y-intercept. The last thing I need to determine is the inequality sign. So I know that the inequality sign is going to have an equal sign since it's a solid line. And then if you look at the y-intercept, we're shaded below it. So that would be less than or equal to for this inequality sign. So now we can write the inequality in slope-intercept form. It would be y is less than or equal to 4 thirds x plus Okay, let's look at number two. It says write the inequality of the graph in standard form. So we are going to write it in slope-intercept form, and then we will convert it to standard form. So let's start by finding the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative two, and then my slope is negative since the line is going down. There's two points. Looks like the rise is two and the run is three, so the slope is negative two thirds. And then there is no equal sign, or there's no, um, yeah, we're not gonna have an equal sign because it's a dashed line. So no equal sign in our inequality, and then we're shaded above, so the inequality sign is just going to be greater than. So in slope-intercept form, it's going to be y is greater than negative two thirds x minus two. Now I need to convert it to standard form. So the first thing I need to do is get x and y on the same side. So I'm going to add 2 thirds x to both sides. And I get 2 thirds x plus y is greater than negative 2. And then this is almost in standard form just not yet because we have a rational coefficient for a. Remember, we want these numbers to be integers. So I'm gonna multiply everything by a three so that a becomes a whole number. Three times two thirds x is two x. Three times y is three y. And that's greater than three times negative two is negative six. So there is the inequality in standard all right, let's look at number three. So if I'm looking at my graph, I need to match one of these inequalities to it. And this graph has a dashed line and it's shaded below. So I know the inequality sign is going to be less than. So it can be tempting to just choose one of these answers that has a less than sign. That is not what you should do though. 
the inequality sign is only less than for an inequality that's in slope intercept form. So we're going to write the inequality in slope intercept form and then convert it to standard form. So I need the slope and the y intercept. My y intercept is three. The slope is negative and looks like the rise is one, two, three, and the run is one. So the slope is negative three over one or negative three. So the equation or the inequality in slope intercept form would be y is less than negative three x plus three. Now I'm going to convert this to standard form and see which one matches. So I'm going to add three x to both sides and I get three x plus y is less than three. And the inequality that matches that is A. So this time the inequality sign did match what it was in slope intercept form. But if we had had to multiply or divide by a negative, then sometimes it does not match. So that's why it's important that you start in slope intercept form and then convert it to standard form. So number four is similar. It says which inequality matches the graph. They gave us the answer choices in standard form. I'm going to write the graph in slope intercept form, then convert it to standard form. So my slope is positive. The rise is one. The run is one, two, three, four. So my slope is one fourth. And then the y intercept is one. So my inequality in slope intercept form would be y is greater than or equal to, since I have a solid line and it's shaded above, 1 fourth x plus 1. Now I need to convert this inequality into standard form, so I'm going to subtract 1 fourth x from both sides. And I get negative 1 fourth x plus y is greater than or equal to 1. So this is almost in standard form. I just have to make a a positive whole number. So I'm going to multiply everything by a negative four. And since I'm multiplying by a negative, I'm going to have to flip the inequality sign. So negative four times negative one fourth X would just be X. Negative four times Y would be negative four Y. I flip the inequality sign and then negative four times one is negative four. So the inequality that matches this x minus four y is less than or equal to negative four is c. And if you notice what is graphed is a greater than or equal to sign, but in standard form it is less than or equal to. So this is why we always start out in slope intercept form. So number five says to determine the inequality sign of a graphed linear inequality, what form must the inequality be written in? Y equals, you just change that to an inequality sign, MX plus B. Slope intercept form is the only form of a linear inequality where you can determine the graphed sign. So make sure that if you're looking at a graph, you're comparing it to slope intercept form and then converting the slope intercept form to standard form. Okay, let's look at number six. It says, Lindsay thinks that the inequality sign for number one should always be less than or equal to even when the inequality sign is in standard form. Is she correct or incorrect? Why? Let's look at the inequality we wrote for number one. It was y is less than or equal to four thirds x plus four y is less than or equal to four thirds x plus four. Let's see what happens when we convert that to standard form. We would subtract four thirds x from both sides and we would get negative four thirds x plus y is less than or equal to four. And then to convert this to standard form, we would have to multiply everything by a negative three to make a a positive whole number. Negative three times negative four thirds x is four x. Negative three times y is negative three y. I have to flip the inequality sign since I'm multiplying by a negative. And then negative three times four is negative 12. Oh, I forgot to flip the inequality sign. 
So we started out with a less than or equal to, and then since we multiplied by a negative, we flipped the inequality sign. So she would be incorrect because she always thinks it's going to be less than or equal to even in standard form. But in standard form, we multiply by a negative and have to flip the inequality sign. So she is incorrect because in standard form, You multiply by a negative and flip the sign. 